the Netflix event of the year dropped yesterday. And uh, uh, it was Power Rangers once and always. <laughs> it's a 55 minute Power Rangers reunion special. Um, I talked about the trailer, obviously, last time. Um, I don't really know how to talk about this. <laughs> so <laughs> um, I, I have not seen it. Um. <laughs> well, let me describe it to you. So we know what's wrong with the with the 2017 big budget version. It was too angsty. It was visually completely uninspired. It didn't really do anything new or, I mean, it tried to do cool things with Power Rangers. It just didn't succeed. Now imagine the, the polar opposite where it's, it's trying to be as faithful to the original show as possible, but with kind of like, but with half the cast and so one of the things that's the most distracting about this is that they're hiding the fact that they didn't get the most important Rangers to be there. So two are dead, you know, so like uh, uh, Thai Trang, who played Trini, uh, died a long time ago. Jason David Frank recently committed suicide. So Green Ranger, Yellow Ranger, they're out. Now, they made a plot around the Yellow Ranger's death. Rita fucking kills her in the, you know, in the first moment. Spoilers. Wow. Like Rita just ah, <laughs> kills her, which is funny. In memory of the actor. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, OK, I, I guess enough time has passed. It, it's, it was a little funny to me that Rita just straight up killed somebody because I used to wonder when I was a kid, there were two things I always wondered about Power Rangers. One, why don't they tr why do they show up in their street clothes or even for that matter, in their Power Rangers costumes when they could quickly just call upon their Zords and squash them before they become big? <laughs> you just like bring the Zords out early. Right. And two, one of the things that I thought was kind of unique about Power Rangers was in a lot of other superhero properties, the villain knows the hero, but they don't know the alter ego. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, Lex Luthor doesn't know that Clark Kent is Superman, right? Joker doesn't know that Bruce Wayne is Batman. Well, Rita, for some fucking reason, knows who all these kids are. <laughs> and uh, uh, Lord Zed, too. He's like, ooh, Jason, Trini. He just straight up knows who they, knows where they go to school. They would often he doesn't just bomb the school. <laughs> yeah, just get rid of them. Yeah, they often would send putties just straight into their classroom and shit. Um, <laughs> And I often wondered, like, wh why not just, like, give a putty a gun and <laughs> <laughs> quietly sneak up on one of the rangers? <laughs> oh, you know, and they least suspect that. Maybe Alpha would be like, <laughs> Billy, <laughs> he's got a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the thing is those things can't shut up. They'd have to get, like, a quiet, a quiet monster. Um so I don't know, this kind of, this comported a little bit with my old curiosities about like, how do you just kill one of these kids? <laughs> so they do that in the, in the opening moments of the film. Um, so Zach and Billy, Walter Jones and David Yost are in this thing. Walter Jones looks amazing. Uh, David Yost looks uh, in shape. But I, uh, uh, his face looks, looks like it was pasted together with like paper mache. I mean, he looks quite strange, like distractingly so. And boy, oh boy, is the acting. I mean, the acting is miserable. Like, it, it, I mean, it's a joy. It's like it's 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 approaching <laughs> the room uh, quality, like the room tier. I mean, it's really. And the reason you notice it is because the dialogue is actually a little bit more intense than a typical episode of Power Rangers. Cause you're talking like there's a scene where after Trini dies, black Ranger and blue Ranger go to her daughter's house where it's just her and her daughter. And they like are like arguing about how do we tell her that Trini's dead? And they're like, like, well, it, you can't just tell her. You just, well, how are we supposed to tell her that Rita Repulsa killed her mom? It's like one of the lines. And then like, she overhears them and it's like, oh, what? Geez. Um, and so a moment like that never would have <laughs> happened in the original Power Rangers. So there are these dramatic moments, sometimes like uh, uh, <laughs> thickly dramatic moments. The suits are all just like you saw in the original series. The cinematography is not at all like you saw in the original series. It's quite, it's Netflix money. Somebody, sh you know, a lot of times you shoot uh, Power Rangers flat because you're just trying to get, you know, it's like just um, straight on medium shots of the action and stuff. They almost never do like vertical or do like... Um, interesting angles or lensing and they do here. And some of it looks really fucking cool. The opening couple of the opening scene is just really awesome, but it's very distracting that they're using like, um, audio clips from old episodes for the Rangers that weren't present. Oh, really? That's fine. Yeah. Like, like Ooh. Jason, Tommy, Trini, 
Kimberly. So like four of the uh, four out of the six Rangers just aren't there and they're using their audio. So it's, it's, it's a bit like, um, like Joker and birds of prey, you know, <laughs> like he's a big part of the thing, but he's not in the movie. Oh, interesting. And then they come up with another plot twist where Kimberly, Jason and Tommy are shrunk down into little toys by Rita. And then, um, uh, they, they have to call upon other Rangers to morph into those powers and they get Rocky and they get cat. So they get the second red Ranger and they get the second, uh, uh, pink Ranger. So they piece together a few Rangers out of this whole thing. <laughs> and it's just very distracting. Um, that like, could you not have spent the money on, on Amy Jo Johnson? That would have went a long way. Right. I hear that Austin St. John, the, the red Ranger is embroiled in some kind of COVID fraud. Scam. <laughs> He's got oh. some legal troubles. Um, but there's whoever did it knows their power Rangers that Billy's flying car is in the, this, this show. Um, the, the the action scenes like you know uh, are are pretty awesome throughout. There's a lot of like uh they they redid Rita's Moon Palace right because everything that you saw in the original series they do here but from scratch they're not using any archival footage. So like they have Rita's Moon Palace and it says on the front of it Bandora's Palace, which of course in Japan it was Bandora's Palace. And it was one of those things they never covered up, and here they're just faithful to it, right? <laughs> yeah, and then finally they have a Zord battle that's all CG, and it looks like absolute fucking dog shit. <laughs> 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 Would it really have been that hard to just get some toys together and get some like uh, costumes together, yeah. like they did in the in the old Sentai's? Yeah, just just put some cardboard over some some men and just have them punch each other. <laughs> But like there's scenes in the juice bar and stuff. I mean, like if you're a Power Rangers fan, you can't resist. You've got to watch it. But it's I find it like I when I watched the trailer, I was distracted by the the lack of who if you're going to do a reunion special, and you can only scare up like two guys. Um, I don't know. A little disappointing. But overall, um, I think I really enjoyed the 55 minutes. (laughs) Enjoy your time. That's yeah, I think so. Nice. It's quite it's quite the piece of media. That, let me <laughs> put it that like I, it's a shock that it exists. <laughs> um, it's not you know uh, I remember like Gilmore Girls fans were really disappointed with the Netflix Gilmore Girls reunion. Right, right. You know? This might be a little along those lines. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to Red Cow Entertainment on Patreon for full episodes every other week.